What's up YouTube? Jonathan Lau here and today I'm going to be doing an arm day workout. We will be doing uh, 7 exercise today, 3 sets with 12 repetitions. I have also written the uh, exercise on the description below just in case you want to take a note of it. First out of nine exercise, first out of seven exercises of the day is the bicep curls. This exercise is a good way to add size and bring the peak of your biceps, which I'm still trying to work on it, but we'll get there very soon with this arm day workout. Second exercise of the day is a tricep rope pull down. With this exercise, try to squeeze your triceps as much as you can when going down and when your hands are down. Uh, then by the time when your forearms need to go up, try to make it slow and control to feel that extra tension and stretch on your triceps. It is also advisable if you can stick your elbow into one place, you could either place it right next to your hips or at least closer to your hips. Also make sure your back is always straight like all the exercise out there, head neutral, chest out, butt sticking out. Just in case you were wondering who and why is the guy recording me on foot, uh, his name is Daichi and he's currently doing leg day today. Uh, he's working on his squats and he's a, he's a beast. Our third exercise for today is a close grip bicep curl using an easy bar. For this exercise, I like to hold the bar towards the inside curl of the bar. That's just because I feel like I can keep a lot of tension on my bicep because my elbow are placed in front of my abdominal rather than the side of my hips when doing a wide grip bicep curl. Again, three sets with 12 repetitions with this exercise. Fourth exercise for today is a skull crusher using a dumbbells. Uh, this is my favorite triceps exercise because you can hit your long horn on your arms, uh, long horn on your triceps, which is the biggest muscle on your arms. Usually, a lot of people do this exercise using an easy bar. I'm not sure why, but I personally like using dumbbell with the with isolation movement because I feel like I. Uh, I feel like both of my arms can, are doing the work rather than my dominant hand taking over like on the compound movement. Like the triceps pull down, place your elbow into one place and it should only be your forearms that are moving to really hit your triceps. I would also advise to lock your elbow when squeezing your triceps to really get that extra tension on it. Fifth exercise is a hammer curl. This exercise is for your biceps. It is, a simu it is similar to the dumbbell bicep curl. The only difference is the way you pull the dumbbell. Uh, it's like holding a hammer. Notice with this that I alternate the pulling of the dumbbell. Uh, that's because I like to focus a lot on my biceps on each arm because I think that's my weakest point. And if you don't have a bicep pick like I do at the moment, this exercise is for you. Oh, and please do remember to avoid swaying when doing this exercise. Control the weight as much as possible and always try to feel the tension on your biceps. Sixth exercise is a weighted dips. Uh, for my last set, for my last set, which uh, I'm doing right now, I am using a 4 to 5 pounds plate right here and it's tied up on my waist. Uh, with dips, you could either hit your chest or triceps. If you lean forward, you will be hitting your chest, but if you're straight up uh, like what I'm doing right now, you will be hitting your triceps. If you are a beginner, you can start with, uh, with body weight first and add plates later on. Last exercise for today is a body weight chin up to uh, reach to failure. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and till next time. Bye!